The complexity of business processes in the telecoms industry makes telecom invoicing a challenging process and billing errors are common. So what can be done to improve this situation? Well, I'm talking with Rohit Singhal, a business support systems expert at Ericsson's digital BSS product development team, who's been exploring the potential of emerging technologies in the BSS sector. So Rohit, I understand that artificial intelligence or AI is featuring quite strongly in your work. That's right. Um... If you look at Ericsson in general, uh, has wide application of AI in R&D uh, products and services. BSS R&D, which I'm part of, uh, has been working with artificial intelligence under the umbrella of technology leadership for the last few years. And it has gained significant momentum in 2020. And same continues in 2021. And this is in line with market maturity and trends. So how is AI relevant to BSS developments? BSS plays a very important role in telco's business and in the telecom marketplace. It addresses customers, products, and payments. There are various BI processes where AI can help. For instance, product lifecycle automation, predicting next best action in customer journeys, defining optimal segments, managing personalization, customer experience, and customer churn. It can also help identifying usage or payment frauds. It can also significantly help in an area which I'm particularly interested in, which is invoice anomaly detection. So why are there so many problems and challenges with telecoms invoices? Why are there so many anomalies? Telecom invoices in particular are more vulnerable to anomalies. To understand why, let's take a look at the telecom billing process. Uh, telecom retail or B2C billing is a subscription-based billing. Uh, besides regular period billing, which could be monthly billing, which happens most often, there can be other types such as part period billing. Usually a billing process starts with mapping of customer usage to subscriber product. This is the beginning of an extremely complex process as telecom products, given the sheer number of product characteristics and their various combinations can be vast. This will get uh, further accelerated with 5G. As 5G brings many new use cases with focus on enterprises in the form of both B2B and B2B2X. Wholesale billing and billing on behalf are altogether separate threads of billing complexity. Here, I would suggest uh, uh, you read in more detail uh, uh, the recently published e-brief available for download on ericsson.com, which goes by the title Leverage AI for Invoice Anomaly Detection. So to answer your original question, uh, given the complexity of billing process, there are several possibilities to make mistakes. Finding invoice anomalies is like finding a needle in a haystack. And this haystack is getting bigger over the coming years. So how do incorrect invoices impact the telecoms business? How would you feel if you were to get a wrong invoice? Wouldn't it be frustrating? Um, fixing a, a wrong invoice is a process in itself. Once the problem is fixed, uh, one is required to rerun the billing process so as to produce the correct invoices. If the customer has already made a payment uh, before looking at the overcharge, uh, then one is required to either issue refunds or adjust this in subsequent invoices. If the customer happens to be a high value customer, Telco might want to offer freebies to this customer and um, thereby prevent him from churning from the network. All of it adds up uh, to time and effort and adds up to the bottom line. And if there has been undercharging in the invoice, uh, that, that really hits uh, on the top line revenues. Getting invoices wrong is a, is a very expensive thing for telcos. So given the importance of invoices to the business, how can telcos ensure that their invoices are correct? And what are the limitations with the current processes? Most telcos have a department, let's say a revenue assurance department, whose job is to proactively handle such invoice anomalies and handle it as a part of uh, ongoing billing process itself. 
the process uh, could be a manual process where sampling of invoices is done. Uh, however, it has its own uh, challenges or limitation. Uh, uh, given the size of sample or uh, there is an inherent bias which might come in, into the sample size. Uh, or uh, alternatively, software systems can also be deployed uh, with rule-based logic to discover invoice anomalies. The challenge with the current process is that it's dependent on human knowledge, which is always a subset of uh, the total knowledge set. It's, it's a laborious work and it's very time consuming. In general, if you look at uh, the design and operations of this, uh, usually ends up slowing down the time to market uh, for launching new products. So how can AI help to improve the process? And is there a particular approach that you consider is, is best for such problems? AI is really good at uh, finding outliers, some of which are anomalies and some of which could be normal events. It's just that they are, uh, they are uh, unusually different. Uh, Unsupervised or semi-supervised machine learning, which is a branch of AI, does provide high accuracy solution to detecting anomalies. Uh, the self-learning aspect can be reinforced by building a feedback loop uh, of rewards and penalties of past results. The solution can be further extended to find the cause of anomalies and recommendation for corrective actions. AI is not only cost effective, it requires less resources, it's faster, but it also provides more holistic solution to the problem. But are there any challenges associated in using AI for this process? Uh, sure. Since AI is a data-driven programming, for AI to be effective, it's important uh, that telcos have the requisite data strategy and data governance in place. Uh, today, telcos are, are in different phase of maturity uh, in their data strategies. Also, there is a need to have organi organization-wide understanding and acceptance of AI. Besides the organizational readiness, another challenge is related to data itself. Uh, if you see data mirrors the real-world behavior and changes its characteristics over a period of time, so it needs to be monitored over, over, over the time period for the drift. And such drift may impact performance of AI models, which should be handled by putting AI model management systems and processes in, in place. Still, in my view, the benefits far out, out, outweigh the challenges. The telcos that are wondering where to inject AI in BSS, invoice anomaly, anomaly detection is very good start uh, with immediate benefits. Okay, so that's a really useful application of AI and automation for the telecoms industry. Uh, and as you mentioned, right. Rohit, you've done a, an in-depth ebook on this topic, and, and that's available to download from ericsson.com. And also there's a link to download it just below this video. So Rohit, great to talk to you today. And thanks for sharing your insights. Thanks, Ray. My pleasure.